Oh hello guys! So as you can see I am still running my Hyper Window Manager and I still... Well, I really like it as you can see. I just made a few little changes. The major one is, well, I turned off the animations. I guess my computer <laughs> It's not the newest anymore and doesn't handle the animations all that well. And well, this is better this way. So this is not the point of this video. I have decided because I was curious how it's gonna go. And I'm gonna try and install this Hyper Window Manager on the newest Ubuntu 23.10. and customize it just a little bit. I am not sure how that's gonna go but I guess we will see soon enough. Okay so let's get to the video. And we are on my virtual machine that I have prepared especially for this video. This is the newest version of Ubuntu 23.10 and this is the basic version of the Ubuntu. It's not the full version. Well, basically it is the default now, <laughs> but anyway, so let's start with the installation. As you can see, they have a pretty good guide on how to do that. Let's start. I'm gonna need a terminal for this. Let's copy and paste everything we need before we start installing it. Oh, that's a lot of packages, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot of packages. Anyway. This shouldn't take long. Okay, we are done with the installing the packages. Let's try something else. I want to prepare a new folder especially for this. Let's call this Hyper Install. <laughs> How original, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open the terminal here. We're gonna copy this clone command and we gonna paste it. What? Okay, I guess we don't have git installed, which is weird. About the distribution that promotes itself for programming in the open source world. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Let's try this again. Now we're talking, let's get to the hyper and let's copy this command now. Okay, so now we need to copy the build folder of Hyper and the file into the user bin. Let's copy that and paste it. Okay, and all we need to do now it's just <laughs> add the example desktop file into the sessions so we can log in into the new hyper window manager let's go and do that 
All right, so now everything should be ready and installed, but very important before we get out of the GNOME and Ubuntu desktop and get in into the Hyper Window Manager, we should find the example config file. This is very important because of <laughs> when you log in and you don't have any hyper config file, you're gonna end up with the black screen. And that's very, very bad for you because nothing you can do about it. So anyway, uh, when you go to the hyper folder where you did all the installation, go to the example folder and here it is the hyper.config. This is the example configuration. So we're gonna copy all this and we're gonna go to the home folder. You need to show oops. Okay, so I guess it is here or not. Oh wow, they move it over here. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, so you need to enable the show hidden files. Just click on it. Now you have everything you need. Just navigate to the .config file. You should have a hyper folder. If you don't, just create one. Now open this folder and paste the example configuration. Now this is all you need for now. Let's try and log out of the Ubuntu desktop now and see what's gonna happen. And we do. Here it is the hyper, just select it, put down your password and log in. Let's see what's gonna happen. All right, so we already have a bar on top, which is a good sign. We have Hyper Window Manager installed in the Ubuntu. Now it's the funny part. <laughs> well, I can't seem to find the key bindings for opening neither the file <laughs> browser, <laughs> neither the terminal, so we're gonna have to uh, walk out of here and come back with the Ubuntu desktop and play a little bit with the configuration file because this will, at least for me, it's not really usable. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, we are back on the Ubuntu desktop. Let's play with the configuration a little more before we come back to the hyper. Again, just show the hidden files to navigate or you can just press Ctrl and H. So anyway, let's go to the configuration dot, dot config and hyper. Let's open it with the text file we have. And this is the configuration we have right now. Let's play a little bit with it. Okay, I like the gaps in to be size of 8, the border size would be 2 for me, gaps out 20, it's a little too much, isn't it? Let's go with the 10, rounding, well, I like the 20, we are not gonna touch anything from the max FPS, neither, well, main mod it's gonna be super, which is the one I am using. not gonna touch anything with the layout I'm gonna do the mod padding in for 10 okay this is the biggest that I want to do right now the windows rules now the key binding this is why we are here. So super R. 
Hmm. I guess we need a couple more packages so we can start with that. Let's go and install them. The first one is Kiri. I really like Kiri. The menu. I like Rofi. So this is why neither of the key binds are working because the X term it's not really installed. Let's install all this and we'll see what's gonna happen. And for the key bindings, I like Super D to start the D menu. Actually, we're gonna try Super Shift D for D menu, and I'm gonna do another one, which is just Super D. Check. Profi does dash show D run super Q. It's super Q. It should be Q active. Super return exec. We're gonna use Kiri for this, or you can do whatever terminal emulator you wanna use. Now, Q active. This is Super C. I'm gonna use Super Q because I'm used to that, but we can do Super Shift Q again. And I'm gonna do another one bind oops super shift R for reload. Okay. Everything else seems pretty good. Let's save that and let's get back to the hyper once again let's see how that's gonna go now <laughs> okay walk out and walk back into the hyper okay all right now we have something going <laughs> Now this is the kitty terminal which is already so much better. Sh uh, super Q call closet, that's all right. Super D, we have the D menu. All right, so we have the terminal opening now with super shift which is already so much better, I like that. I'm not gonna play that much right now, this is just an answer for my curiosity can I and how easy it is to install the hyper window manager on the newest Ubuntu 23.10 so if you guys are interested I can do uh, a little more configuration of this virtual machine and we'll see where we gonna go with that but I'm not gonna waste too much time so this is it for today. I hope you like it. I hope you find it informational. If you do, just let me know in the comment section down below. If you have more suggestions, just leave them down again. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.